Well, let's talk about uh, allergy shots, also known as immunotherapy. Who should uh, be considered for immunotherapy? It has been proven to be effective in patients with allergic rhinitis and allergic asthma and stinging insect allergies. The benefits include control of the symptoms, less need for medications, prevention of new allergies from developing, turning allergic sinus and nose condition into asthma. Patients would say, Doc, I'm tired of taking medications. All these medications are not taking care of my symptoms. Or I don't want to take medications. It's causing side effects, headaches, sleepiness, sores in the mouth. Those are the candidates for the allergy shots. How do they work? They work more or less like a vaccine. We start with the lowest possible concentration of the stuff that you are allergic to. And we start giving you shots based on that. And gradually increase the dosage to build up to a maintenance dosage. And once you get to the maintenance dosage, the shots are continued once a month for a period of three to five years. Five is the youngest recommended age to start the immunotherapy. Younger than five, usually it's not recommended. During pregnancy, it's recommended that you don't start allergy shots. But if a person is pregnant, while taking the shots, they are continued. In older patients, if they have especially heart condition, then we try to use medications as opposed to the shorts. Where should the shorts be given? Most preferred location is the physician's office where the person can be watched for side effects. They are safe, simple, the most common side effect is a little bit of a redness or swelling at the site of injection. However, rarely serious or even fatal allergic reaction side effect, the complication called anaphylaxis can occur. And we try to be the safest place for giving the shots. We do continuous anaphylaxis prevention training. We start at the lowest possible concentration. We watch the patient 30 minutes after we give them the shot. We educate patients on giving themselves epinephrine, which is the EpiPen, to get themselves out of the adverse reaction anaphylaxis. We also involve patients in preventing it. Most bad reactions occur when persons have bad asthma, exacerbation of the current symptoms, fever, infection, or if they had strong reaction when they had allergy testing, or if they are taking some blood pressure medication mainly beta blockers. These are the medications used for blood pressure mainly, but sometimes for migraine prevention or for rapid heart rate prevention. These medications include metoprolol, atinolol, tenormin, indoral, propranolol, coreg, beta pace. If you are taking any of these medications, you should let us know. If your asthma symptoms are acting up, you should let us know. If your peak flow is down, 
you should let the nurse know before giving the shot. If you have fever, congestion, cough, shortness of breath, chest tightness, you should let us know. We also make sure that we give right dosage, right vial to the right patient. So please help us make sure that we prevent an apoplexis. If you have any questions about what to look for after you get the shot, please email us or call us 574-534-9911. It is useful for patients with allergies and asthma to get the allergy shots. The benefits can be remarkable. Rarely patients with allergic eczema, skin condition, if they are allergic to inhaled allergens, they can also benefit from the allergy shots. If you have any other questions, please feel free to talk to me or my, one of my medical assistants about the insurance coverage. My staff would be more than happy to help you get pre-certification or any other issues that you may have with insurance coverage. Thank you very much.